If you've ever wanted to freeze frame in DaVinci Resolve, you've probably clicked around the menu options, found something called freeze frame, clicked on it, and immediately discovered it didn't exactly do what you wanted. Today, I'll show you three methods for freezing the frame in DaVinci Resolve, and then you can choose the one that works best for your situation. So let's look at the first method. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page. Let's freeze frame using the most direct technique. I'll put the playhead to where I want to freeze the frame. Let's say here. Then up here, I'll select clip, and then I'll choose freeze frame. And my whole clip is frozen on that frame. Before the playhead, after the playhead, everything. This can be useful, but it's usually not exactly what we want to do. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo that. Now our video is back to normal. Let's look at the second method. With the playhead in position, I can right click on my clip. Then I can choose change clip speed. And here I have the option to check freeze frame. So let's check that. And I'll click change. And what this will do is freeze the frame after my playhead. So if I back up a bit, I'll play a little bit here. And then once it crosses that edit point, the frame is frozen for the rest of the clip. This method's actually pretty good if you want to freeze the frame and then move on to another clip, like this here. You can change the duration of the frozen frame pretty easily. You can use the trim edit tool, and you can make it longer or shorter, just by dragging here. Remember that the trim edit tool will move the next clip as needed. So with the trim edit tool selected, if I extend the frozen frame, the next clip is pushed to the side. However, if I use the selection tool, the arrow, this will overwrite the next clip. So if I push it this way, you can see it's overwriting. So it's gonna depend on what you wanna achieve, but I'll bring this back here. Finally, let's look at the most flexible method. And this is to use the retime controls. I'll undo my previous changes and get my timeline back to normal here. Now let's get the playhead set somewhere here. Now I can right click on my clip and choose retime controls. And this gives me these controls here. So 100% is the default state. So far, nothing will change how our clip plays, but I can position my playhead where I want. Then I can click the drop down here and I can choose freeze frame. And now I have a freeze frame in the middle of my clip. You can see it stopped and that starts playing again. And what's cool about this is you can easily change the duration. So I can drag these handles here to make the freeze frame go longer. Now be sure to select the trim edit tool if you don't want to overwrite your next clip. So I'll move this. You can see it pushes the next clip sideways. If you do the arrow, the selection tool, it'll overwrite the next clip. So always remember the difference between those tools. But you can easily change the duration of the frame. And when the frame is ended, it continues playing the clip again. So I think if you want to have flexibility and freezing a frame in the middle of a clip, Using the retime control is the way to go. If you thought this video was useful, you may also want to check out my review of the video AI editing tool called Gling. It's what I use to process my videos before I bring them into DaVinci Resolve. Gling automatically removes dead space and bad takes, which saves me a ton of time. I'll leave a link to my review in the description below. And if there's any other DaVinci Resolve tips you want to see, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.